This video will introduce you to the many resources provided by the Edgecombe Community College Library and how to use them. First, go to the Edgecombe Community College homepage located at www.edgecombe.edu. Click on Student Portal located on the far right side of the screen. Select Library LRC. This is the Library LRC homepage. All the links for the library are in the red toolbar in the middle of the screen. On the homepage, we have our online catalog, two different Ask a Librarian features, the ability to reserve a study room, and our hours of operation. If you only require assistance for one particular resource, we offer tutorials for each database provided by the Edgecombe Community College Library. The link for tutorials is in the red toolbar. These are the tutorials provided. There are database tutorials and general tutorials. Each tutorial is only five to six minutes long and will give you a brief overview of how to use each database. Let's start with our online catalog. To access the online catalog, simply click Online Catalog on the home screen. This is the Edgecombe Community College Library online catalog. First, select the drop-down box on the far left. Then choose whether you would like to search the Tarboro Library, or the Rocky Mount Library. Simply enter your search term into the search box and press search. If you would like to search by a author or title, click the drop down box in the middle to change your search parameters. Let's search for books about information literacy. There are 23 results found for information literacy. The title is in blue, then you have the author, the call number, publication date, and the type of resource. For additional information, simply click on the title. When you scroll down to the bottom, you will see information about the library. It is located at the Edgecombe Tarboro Library, the material type, the shelf number or call number, the number of copies, the shelf location, and status. This book is a reference material, which means it is located in the reference section of the library. Let's look at another book. This book is located in the Tarboro Library. It is a circulating book. There's the shelf number, number of copies, and its location is standard shelving which means it is located in the nonfiction section of the library. It is very important that you look not only at the shelf number, but the shelf location so you know where to go within the library. If you cannot find any results within the ECC library, you may go back to the top and click the drop-down box located on the far left and select the option for everything and research. This will search all of the libraries in the North Carolina Community College Library Consortium. As you can see, now we have 499 results. If the item is available for what is called an interlibrary loan, a red place hold button will be located on the right of the title. Simply click the button and enter your username and password. Your username is the number underneath the barcode on your student ID. Your password is the four-digit PIN number you created when you registered your ID at the library. Simply click Login. The title of the book will come up as well as the pickup library. Click the red Place Hold and the other library will get the request. They will ship the book to us. We will check it out to you, usually for three weeks to one month. You bring it back 
and we return it to the original library. This is called an interlibrary loan and is a free service provided for ECC students that will allow you access to the materials you need to be successful. There is a three to five day ship time, so please make sure you do not wait to the last minute to look for print resources. This is how you use the ECC Library Online Catalog. Next are the Edgecombe Community College Library LibGuides. We have an A to Z listing of all the LibGuides provided, a distance learner LibGuide, and a library LibGuide. LibGuides are customizable resources for individual classes and curriculum. Take the time to explore the A to Z listing of LibGuides to see the different options provided. Next, we have the ECC Library Resources. These are the various resources and databases provided by the Edgecombe Community College Library. They are listed alphabetically. Our three main research databases are Credo Reference, NC Live, and Newsbank America's News. Board Vitals and StatRef are health science resources. Data Axle Reference Solution is a business resource. Ebook Collection, Gale Virtual Reference Library, Junior Library Guild, and Overdrive are ebooks. If you cannot find a book you need through our online catalog or through Interlibrary Loan, make sure you come and check our ebook collection. Ebooks actually count as print resources when doing research or writing papers. History Study Center is a history database. Learning Express is a test taking preparation database and is an invaluable resource for students gearing up for their SATs, ACTs, GRE, Ts, or high school equivalency. Pharaoh's My Print Center and Print Center is the new online print resource provided by the ECC Library. ProQuest Learning is a literature database and Resume Builder, a resume database. To learn how to use each individual database, make sure you view the tutorials provided next to the resources in the red toolbar. We offer individual tutorials for every database provided, as well as tutorials on how to use our online catalog and perform an interlibrary loan. To begin your research, it is recommended you start with Credo Reference, as it is an invaluable source of broad, overreaching information on a wide variety of topics. This is the Credo Reference homepage. Your search box is in the middle top of the screen, and you may simply enter your search term and press search. If you are unsure of your topic, you may research popular topics by scrolling down and seeing various options provided below. Once you start typing into the search box, individual results will begin to appear. Let's continue to use the search term information literacy. As you see, different options are appearing. Here are the results for information literacy. There are 2,097 results. On the right, there is what is known as a mind map. A mind map is a visual breakdown of a topic into various subtopics. It is a useful tool for narrowing down a broad topic into something more manageable as far as research goes. To view a subtopic, simply click on the title and a new mind map appears with that topic at its center and new article results. To return to the previous results, click the title at the bottom of the mind map. The articles are listed by title, then the publication, and then a brief overview. Key concepts are also included below. 
To access the article, simply click on the title. At the top, you will see options to save the article, cite it, print it, share it, read it aloud, or translate it. You will also see related searches on the far right side of the screen. That can be very helpful as well in narrowing down search results. At the bottom of each article is the citation for that article. It defaults to APA, so if you require Chicago, Harvard, or MLA, simply click on that particular citation for it to change. Then you may copy and paste that citation into your reference list. That is how you use Credo Reference. Our next research database is NC Live. This is the NC Live homepage. NC Live offers a wide variety of resources available to ECC students. The most popular feature for our students is using it to find a peer reviewed journal article. To begin, select the option for Advanced Search located next to the search bar in the middle top of the screen. Enter your search term into the search box. Once again, we will be using information literacy. Then, under Limit 2, check the boxes for items with full text online and scholarly materials including peer-reviewed. Then press the gray search button located at the bottom. These are the results for information literacy. There's 191,964 results sorted by relevance. Each article is available in full text and a scholarly peer-reviewed journal article. The title of the article is in blue, then the author, then publication information. To access the article, click Full Text Online. This will take you to the full text of the article. Most articles will have the option for full text and full text PDF. Full text is simply the text of the article. Full text PDF is the article exactly as it was printed with original formatting, fonts, and any pictures or graphs. On the top right side of the screen, you will have the option to download it, cite it, email it, print it, or additional options. To cite the article, click Cite. It defaults to APA 6th edition. To change this, click the drop-down box and select the option Needed. For example, MLA 8th edition. Then you may simply copy and paste that into your Works Cited list. To return back to your search results, simply exit out the box. On the left side of the screen, you will see options to narrow your results down even more by content type or publication date. You may use the bar to narrow down the date or select any of the options below, such as articles from only the last 12 months, 3 years, or 5 years. Let's see what happens when we select the option for the last 3 years. Our results are now only 38,472, once again sorted by relevancy. If you find you are not getting the search results you are looking for, it might be because your search term requires adjusting. If you need help tweaking your search term, feel free to contact the library via phone, email, or by coming in, and we will be happy to help you adjust your search term to get the best results. The important thing to remember is to not give up. That is how you use NC Live to find peer-reviewed journal articles. For additional information about NC Live, make sure you check out the NC Live tutorial provided on our tutorial page. The next resource is America's News provided by NewsBank. America's News is a comprehensive collection of reliable news sources from all over the world. These include newspapers as well as news broadcast. Once again, you may simply enter your search term in the search box and press search, or 
You may browse by topic or individual newspapers located in our area. Once again, let's use information literacy. There are 542,790 results for information literacy. The title is in blue, and then the publication information. Once again on the left, you may narrow your results down by date, source type, year, source name, source location, readability, or language. Source location is a neat feature as it will allow you to view articles from individual states within the United States. For example, you could choose to view articles about information literacy from California and then North Carolina, then click Apply. This allows you to see how the same topic can be viewed differently in different parts of the country. Once again, you get the title in blue, then the publication information. To access the article, simply click the title. At the top of the screen, you have the option to change the text size, cite it, email it, print it, download it, save it, or link it. You also have the option to have the article read to you. Simply click the back button to get back to your search results. Back on the home screen, you may also choose to view special reports, hot topics, daily headlines, and lesson plans. You may also search by date or map. That is a brief overview of how to use America's News. The last resource is also provided by NewsBank and is called Black Life in America. Like America's News, it provides a collection of information recorded by various news media throughout the history of black life in America. You may use the search bar to search for a specific topic, or you may browse by suggested searches listed below, broken down by various time periods. By clicking on an individual time period, additional searches will be provided on the right. Simply click on a person to be taken to those results. Once again, you may sort by date, source type, year, source location, article type, or even presidential error. To access the article, simply click on the title. Once again, across the top, you have the option to change the font size, cite the article, email it, print it, download it, save it, or link it. Black Life in America is an invaluable resource that explores the historical impact of black life in America from the beginning to the present day. Make sure you take the time to explore this resource and see the different information provided. Once again, if you require additional assistance on any of our databases, make sure you view the individual tutorials available for each database. If you need to contact the library, select Contacts in the red toolbar, which will provide you with phone numbers and emails of each employee of the ECC library. Please feel free to call or email us at any time for assistance. We are happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. The ECC library is here to help all of our students succeed in their endeavors.